hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is kayla and today i'm just going to be doing a campus tour for you guys so if you're interested in seeing georgia state's atlantic campus then just keep watching so right here to my left is just piedmont central it's another dorm it's one of the newer dorms that we have here on campus it's a dining hall right at the bottom too so if you have a meal plan you can eat at any of the dining halls piedmont north central and Patton, i believe Right here is 112. It's one of the apartments that we have here on campus. It's right by Waffle House, so you know, just in case you're a little hungry, right by the bus stop. And if you ever have a class at Erdo Hole, you're going to be real familiar with this area of the campus. It's really, really nice over here. This part of the campus is really, really nice, you guys, but the only thing is, it's kind of a walk. So if you don't have a class over here, you really have no reason to be over here. But I really like coming over here, and I have a class over here, too. This is just a pretty as waterfall you guys i love looking at this every time i come over here look at it like look at this this is beautiful this is beautiful like i love this So right here we just have a theater on campus um they hold recitals here i really don't know much about this building but you know i used to sit in it when i used to wait on the bus and it was cold outside so so this is the bus stop for the purple route honestly you'll be better off walking because it takes for freaking ever for it to come so honestly just walk that'll be your best bet this is the outer hall building that I was talking to you guys about. It has a lot of stairs inside, like a lot of stairs. I try to go in, but it's closed. It's a Starbucks right across the street. They'll take all your money. So it's a nice sitting area out here. This is such a nice area, you guys. Like I love this. And right here, this is just a little vibe. I love this place, you guys. This area is just different restaurants that you can eat at. Well, I wouldn't call it restaurants. Really fast food places where you can pick something up really quick in between classes. This is so nice, you guys. I'm going to show y'all. So when you cross the street, you'll see Woodruff Park. It has an ATL artwork sign right there. I don't know. I think that's really dope. So right next to the Student Advisement Center is Highland Bakery. They have a really, really good breakfast, you guys. That I usually get the bacon and cheese croissant. So this is 25 Park Place. This is the advisement center. You'll probably be here a majority of your college career because they never know how to get it right the first time. So if you end up going to college in the city, you're probably going to be jaywalking a lot. So just make sure to check out for cars because sometimes people in Atlanta drive a little crazy. So right here we just have one of Georgia State's police stations. We have two that I've seen so far, one by University Commons where I stay and this is the second one that I've seen. Our campus is very open to the public so just in case somebody is acting a little weird, you know, looking a little suspicious. So if you're ever walking to campus alone, I just recommend just be cautious, be very aware because y'all already know Atlanta is big on human trafficking and I don't want anybody to get snatched up. So right here we just have the post office, um, Paw Prince. I think that's a really cute name. I've never really had a need to go in here to send anything off, but you know, if you do, it's right there for you. And this is just the volunteer service center. If you ever need to get up on community service hours, this is the place that you would go. This is the Arts and Humanities Recital Hall. I really have never been in this building ever in my life. I'm going to go in there one day just to see what it's about. But it has a lot of stairs too. Maybe that's why I've never been in the building. Because honey, anybody got time for that? And this is just a bus stop for the blue route. If you ever stay on a off-campus apartment like Aspen or something like that, this will be the bus that you would get on to come to the student center. And that's what we're walking on now. They love these scooters, you guys. 
They be riding the fuck out of them. This is the famous panther statue that we have. Rumor has it, if you rub it, you won't graduate. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't know <laughs> if we have a ritual or something for that. But This is the student center. This is where everybody really is. When it's hot outside, this is where everybody be hanging out. You know, student center east, and we have student center west. And this is just our freedom of speech area. You guys, with pride, pride week. They be off the chain up here. It's people with signs. I'm gonna insert a clip from like last semester or something. But it's crazy. There's our bookstore up there. Our campus is really, really confusing when you're new, but once you get used to it, it's really not that bad. This is just an elevator that you can take to the bookstore. Um, if you work on campus, like I worked at Chick fil A, you would take it up there to go directly to Chick-fil-A through the back doors stuff like that it's just a little hangout area you know if you like nature you like being outside or you want to get on a swing you want to feel a little vibe then you will hang out over here So this is just another building that you'll take classes at at Georgia State, the Urban Life Center. Uh, I took one lecture class in here, my accounting class. I hate that class, you guys. I'm so glad I'm out of that class. Anyway, besides the point, this is just another walkway to get to the student center. So as you're walking back out, you're going to walk under this little tunnel thingy. I don't even know. This is Sparks Hall in the Arts Humanities buildings. I've never had a class in either of these buildings either. And right across the street, that's our Chick-fil-A. That's the Chick-fil-A I used to work at. The line used to be so long, you guys. I seen somebody I knew. <laughs> but as you're walking, you have to walk through this complicated garage type of vibe. I don't even know. But they say they're building a green area over there. They're always doing something. This is the library. You go up these stairs. This is always so packed in the mornings. The library is right here. And when you walk in, it's three levels to this library. It's really, really big. You have to get in through your fingerprint. So you have to set all that up. You get in through your fingerprint through the dining halls too. Lingdale's Sports Hall. This really is ruining our campus. Like, our campus really didn't look like a campus, but this just makes it even worse. I don't know what this is. I think it's a little, I don't know, waterfall. I've never ever seen that on a fountain. But this is just a little quiet where everybody hangs out, you know. If you take afternoon classes, that's the best. Langdale Hall so big i tried to go in there but it's closed i went on a sunday because there's nobody here and y'all see all these stairs y'all i be dreading going up these stairs look at it and then you have this view brewsters across the street in classroom south these are more like smaller classrooms not lectures like classes with like i would say 12 people in them and this is just the other side to the library library south and we have these police poles you know just in case you ever see somebody and they're looking a little suspicious and this is our bus stop this is for the green route it's always so packed you guys people be pushing people trying to get a seat on this bus and i'm just like it's not that serious so as you're walking i'm gonna show y'all the recreation center this is another entrance into the student center and right across the street that's the rec my jaywalking ass <laughs> I like to go around the little revolve door. So when you go inside, this is the lobby. 
oh and you need your fingerprint to get in here so basically you need your fingerprint for everything so ain't no sneaking up inside the building honey if you don't go here you can't get in and that's that and that's the capitol building i was playing with it but <laughs> And this is just a science center. I really don't have a need to be over here. It's the Willies and it's a waffle house right next to it. But if you're like a nursing major like my roommate, you're going to take classes over here. And this is our stadium. Our arena, stadium. You get what I'm trying to say. Georgia State plays here. This is where all of our home games are. So, and it's just another emergency poll. Y'all, one time me and my brother was riding one of these scooters. Y'all, I scraped my knees so bad. So bad. They stopped traffic just to ask me if I was okay. So, this is just, I think, one of the parking garages that you can park at. But I'm not actually sure. So. There's Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. And right across the street is Greek housing. If you're Greek, I guess you'll stay there. I don't really know how that works, but this is University Lofts. One of the apartments that we have on campus, I don't really like what it looks like inside because you share a room with, I think one other person or two people, I don't really know. But this is Patton Hall. Another dorm that you can stay at on campus. It has a dining hall right at the bottom too. Like I mentioned before. And on the way back from the student center to my dorm, you see all these restaurants, all these fast food places, Moe's. You have Pizza Hut. Um, Duel, that's just a parking garage. My friend said nobody parks there anymore. I don't know. That's Sweet Stack. I've never tried there, but I need to. I heard it was good. All right, there's the Pizza Hut. They don't do deliveries either, so. And right over there is Parking Lot J. There's a hot dog factory. So 75 Pima Avenue is the housing office. This is where you go to like pick up your parking pass. But you guys, so in order to bring your car on campus, you have to pay $400 for a parking pass, $400 per semester. So I pay for the parking pass, and they try to give me a ticket. I say I'm not paying for this, and I did not pay. I have yet to pay, but, you know, whatever. So this is University Commons, where I stay. There's a police station right there, and right across the street, turn the camera, Kayla. Right across the street is the mix, that's why I told you. It's a very expensive apartment, but it's very, very nice, guys. I'll pay that. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching my campus tour, and I will see you guys in my very next video.